Hi, my name is Shaq and I am one of the tutors here at North Coders and welcome to episode two of the North Coders Essentials. So we asked you a while back, what is the biggest thing holding you back from learning to code? And the overwhelming response was a struggle to know how to get started. So this guide is just a couple of tips for you to give you a hand in knowing where to go and what to expect. So first of all, use the internet. I know this, you're probably already thinking it, but there are so many guides and resources dedicated to helping those with absolutely no background in coding get acquainted with it. We can personally recommend Free Code Camp, absolutely fantastic resource, as well as Code Academy for a small fee, but definitely use the internet and don't be put off in, if one particular guide doesn't seem like it's the one for you. There are loads out there for so many different types of learners. Tip two, I would say definitely join a meetup. The development community is incredibly supportive and those of all levels will be extremely happy to impart some of their experience to those that are trying to get on board with coding. We personally sponsor CodeUp in Manchester and Leeds. They are nationwide, so I'm certain that there is one bound to be quite near you. CodeUp is absolutely perfect for beginners. There are a number of senior developers with great experience who would love to be able to impart some of their knowledge to you. If that doesn't seem like it's your cup of tea, we have others, for example, code and stuff. Those are for um, women and those who are non-binary. Um, you know, it's a safe place for you to go ask questions you need and get along with some challenges that you've already set yourself. Absolutely perfect. Definitely join a meetup. Number three would be Google it. I know it, it doesn't seem like it would be, but genuinely the best developers are amazing at Googling stuff. It helps in so many ways because it teaches you how to not only locate the resources that you need to solve your problems, but it also teaches you how to communicate with others. It teaches you how to ask the right questions use the right definitions, ask things in the right way to allow others to understand what it is you mean. So honestly, Googling is an absolute fantastic resource for you to use. If you ask any developer what they do, when they get stuck, they Google it. So tip four, don't be afraid to break things. I know it, it's something that I think a lot of beginning developers struggle with, but being able to quite happily break your own program and then go back and figure out what you've done to break that. Like it's, it's something that is incredibly important throughout all your experiences. The only real way that you're going to learn is by getting things wrong and understanding where you went wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes again. So don't be afraid to break things. Those around you will be in a position where even if you can't sort it out yourself, there will be someone that can help you. You will not be the first person to have this error. I assure you of that. And tip five, get in touch. It doesn't matter if you have absolutely no coding experience whatsoever. It is for boot camps like us to be there for people like you. So have a look on our site, make sure that if we have any events coming up that you're there, we would absolutely love to meet you. So if you've made it this far, thank you very much. It has been a genuine pleasure. Please do drop us a like if you did like the video and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with the next episode in the series. And please, please do drop us a comment below, letting us know what you would like to be featured in the next episode. We would love to hear from you.